Hi, I'm Becky Buttons. This is ButtonMakers.net. On this page, our custom website, this is where you can uh, either upload a finished graphic, design a graphic, or uh, give us your idea for us to make your buttons for you. So this is our custom buttons page. Um, buttons are like pinback style uh, celluloid buttons that you could use for political campaigns, fundraising, schools, nonprofits, that sort of thing, all kinds of different cool stuff. Um, so in this video, I want to go over how to use our design tool. If you just have an idea and you want us to do it for you, you're welcome to send us an email or put in your instructions here. We do charge a design fee. Um, or if you have art ready to go, you can just click choose a file and upload it and just you're good to go. But if you don't and you want to design your own, we have a design a button feature. Uh, and this video is going to go over how to use that. So the very first thing you want to do is go here to this drop down menu and select one of these uh, pre made templates. It does not matter which one you select, um, but some of these have different designs that may be more or less suitable to what you're trying to do. Um, so I would recommend that you start with one that's kind of close to what you want or something really super basic and then go from there. Um, in this video, we're going to go with Angel in Heaven to do a memorial button. These are very popular um, for funerals and memorials. They're really nice, relatively affordable keepsake um, when a loved one passes. So uh, most of these have the birth and death dates, the person's name, and some kind of, um, you know, forever in our hearts or rest in peace kind of um, uh, verbiage, but you can change this to be what, however you'd like it. So I'm going to click on customize this design and this patiently pulls up our design tool. Okay, so here is our design. Um, so the very first thing I want to go over really quick is in the images section over here, I want to show you shapes. These shapes, these black shapes, are can also be used as masks. So this is very important because almost all of your pictures are going to be square or rectangular and your buttons are typically round. So um, if you're not going to crop out the background, you're going to need to crop it into a shape. So um, the circular one is the, a pretty important one to work with. Um, I'm just going to plot that in the middle here and not worry about it for just a second because I'm just going to use this as a mask for this layout. Um, to get my picture, I'm going to go to Instagram to get that. You can also upload something from your computer if you want or you can log into Facebook. I'm already logged into my Instagram here, so I'm just going to go there and drag in my picture. And I accidentally clicked on it the first time, so I'm going to delete that one. Let me do this again <laughs> so I can show you a little better. Uh, you drag this picture onto the shape and that puts it into the mask. So now it's masked out. So see, I can move the picture around inside of this mask. And actually it looks like we've got, we accidentally put two masks on here too. So I am going to move, okay, <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to put this in the background, there we go, that's my extraneous one, all right, so now I have to get that back, okay, so what this is doing, this is my layers, and these are moving around the order of the um, the layers, the different graphical elements, so we've got like a background, we've got an the text. Uh, we have this picture inside of a mask, and this one has to be on the background, this one has to be next, and then the text has to go on top of the, the picture. So the, this is this little stack here, this icon layer changes the order of things, so you can actually move stuff behind other things, in front of other things. Hopefully that made sense. Um, so now I'm going to uh, change the first name and last name. And that didn't, doesn't quite fit in my ribbon anymore, so I'm going to expand it. 
So I just clicked on the bottom right uh, corner to pull it out that way to maintain the aspect ratio. If I did this, it would squish it, right? But if I click the corner, it maintains the aspect ratio. I can also use my keyboard uh, to nudge it left and right to get it just right. I'm going to change the dates. And I'm not really dead, so we'll just go ahead and leave it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go, so I'm happy with this design now. I'm going to go ahead and click preview. Uh, it shows me what it's going to look like. I hit submit. And this takes us back to the button maker shopping cart. It should update. Very good. And now we can type in the quantity that we want and click add to cart and then go ahead and check out. We do have a spot uh, on the checkout page where you can put in your deadline. Uh, it usually takes us a couple days to process most orders plus shipping time. So be careful to uh, a lot for enough time and um, there you have it. Please let us know if you have any questions. We are happy to help in any way that we can. And hopefully that design tool works out for you.